can be back. Welcome back to You Can Beatbox. I hope you guys practice the basic sounds because today we're going to be learning one of my favorite techniques, lip oscillations. So just a quick note before we begin, I don't know if any of you guys had questions about any of the letters that I was putting down here when I was doing the beats earlier, but these letters are called standard beatbox notation. It's basically just the musical notes for beatboxing. It's pretty intuitive, but if you guys do have any questions, I'll put a link down below with an article about standard beatbox notation. And also I should be able to put an annotation somewhere over here. But definitely leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions. Now back to lip oscillations. So it probably does sound like pretty fancy terminology, but when push comes to shove, it's really just buzzing your lips. Like It's the same technique used by trumpet players and guys who use the didgeridoo. You basically just want to tighten your lips and push air out between them so you get the sound that you want. And as a matter of fact, I have a didgeridoo right here. Uh, it's an Australian instrument that's uh, it's pretty famous, and I guess it uses lip oscillations, and it sounds a little bit like this. So to actually make the sound, you're going to want to tighten your lips, and then try and push air out through your lips, and you should get the buzzing sound that you're looking for. So a little something like... So to actually go ahead and make the sound, you want to close your mouth, and then try and force air out while still holding your lips together. And it can be a little bit challenging at first because you don't want your lips just flapping around. You don't want So what you want to do is you want to try and tighten the ends of your mouth and that will get the pitch that you want. You want to try and tighten the sides of your lips to get the rest of your mouth under control. Like so one good way to practice is to go find some paper towel roll or some wrapping paper uh, cardboard and then you can go ahead and just place it against your lips like I did with the didgeridoo. So the rim of the tube will actually tighten the edge of your lips for you and this will get used to the feeling and the positioning of how it should be. And so now using the basic sounds that we learned last episode and the lip oscillations from this week, we'll go ahead and do two simple beats. So the first one is And then the second one So this is definitely one of my favorite sounds because it sounds pretty inhuman. So I'll post an annotation here with a good example and then also check the links down below for some other good examples of beatboxers using lip oscillations and pretty crazy beats. Another great thing about lip oscillations is that you can manipulate the sound to get some pretty unique uses out of it. For example, one cool thing you can do is you can add the shh behind the sound so you can do and then that's something that you can add in. Another cool sound that you can get out of this is if you push it down deep with your lungs so you get something like but if you get that with the lip oscillations, it sounds like So I know this is a pretty difficult sound, but ever since I started beatboxing, this has always been one of my favorites, and it's really wowed people during my performances. So if you tough it out during this trial and error stage that you'll work through, this sound can work wonders for you. So that's all for today's episode of You Can Beatbox. Be sure to comment down below if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes of You Can Beatbox. Don't forget to subscribe up above or like the video down below for some more great beatbox tutorial action. Don't forget to subscribe above or like the video down below. For what? What am I doing? Don't forget to just. Hello? Don't forget to. <laughs> Don't forget to just. Oh my life.